With AppShed, you can easily create your own apps that will work on any device on any platform. To begin, all you have to do is visit appshed.com and then click on register. If you're a teacher, I recommend choosing the starter kit. If you're a student, I recommend using the student kit. By selecting starter, you can select register starter. This will allow you to create your new account. Just enter in your name, email, password, repeat your password, and type in the text that you see above. Select agree and click register. Once you've already registered, you can just click on login now. You could also click on login on the home screen. By selecting login, it will ask you to log in. Then just type in your username, password, and click login. Now, when you log in, you'll have all of your apps that you've created waiting for you. If you want to create a new app, simply click on the create new app button. First, I'm going to change my device. I'm going to have it display the iPhone 5. Now at the bottom, I'll go ahead and click the plus button to create a new app. At the top, this will give me some options that will allow me to edit the app, change my styles, use Blockly if you're familiar with coding, some different advanced settings, some help, and adding users. By clicking on edit app, I can name this app, give a description, and then I can also choose a category, upload an icon by either uploading my own picture or browsing from the pictures that are already available, or I can clear the picture that's already there. I can set my splash screen the same way by either browsing what's available for me or choosing to upload my own picture. And finally, I can choose to either fit, fill, stretch, tile, or center the picture as it's seen here. You also have tabs, standard screen items, advanced screen items, forms, extensions, and modules. At the top, you can choose to display the devices that appear here. And you can also change your settings here by flipping it either vertically or horizontally. You also have a list of device tools. You have an export option, an app tree, and a bad word search. This can be really helpful when working with students. If you're interested in learning more, you can select the Academy. You can either choose to register your school or you can visit the App Academy down below. By selecting AppShed Academy, this will give you some other options to learn more about how to use AppShed. You can start by selecting Get Started Course, which will allow you to be able to read different documents such as an introduction, how to refine the structure, how to create an app, and so on. Or you can choose to select Learn AppShed. And these are some different categories that you can choose from when trying to learn more about AppShed. At the top right, you will see your name and you can add more options here. You can click My Profile, which will open up your profile. You can select Images to preview the images that you've uploaded. You can even select Files to see if you've uploaded any files in your account. When you're inside of your app, you can go down to the bottom to select different tabs. When you click on an icon, it'll allow you to either navigate, edit the source, move it up or down, copy or even delete it. By selecting navigate, it will actually navigate as it would appear on the actual device. By selecting edit, this will allow you to edit the contents of the icon. Here's where you can upload or browse an icon. You can choose the action, such as the standard screen, or you can change the action. This will allow you to either jump to a screen, visit the website, and lots of other options that are down below. You can also choose your style. 
When you select the Home button, this will bring you back to your menu screen. If you want to select the app that you just started, you can go back, select the app, and either choose to open the app or go into your app settings. When you have finished creating your app and you're ready to share, you will first have to publish it by clicking the Publish icon. When you click Start, this will immediately publish it to the web to allow other people to begin using your app. Then to share it, you can simply click on the Share button, which will give you a couple different options. You can preview the app, you can have your audience visit the web version of the app, or you can display the QR code. By displaying the QR code, it will allow your audience to quickly access the app that you've created. They can just scan the QR code with their mobile device and they will be able to quickly access your app. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you and best of luck creating your apps.